Okay, so I read you a book called Waiting, and the author was Kevin Henkes, and I'm going to show you how to do a follow-up project now if you want to. Um, so for this, we need some sort of box. I've got these from my kids' snacks, some cracker boxes, anything that you have laying around the house. Check your recycling. I'm going to use a cracker box. Um, you also need crayons and markers if you want them, some sort of glue, you might need scissors, you could use tape, you could use an old magazine, an old coloring page, paper, I've got a couple of different colors, um, and if you want to you could also get some stickers out if you had that. Basically any kind of art material you have around your house, you can use it to make your waiting box. So the idea of this box is you're going to make it look a little bit prettier because right now it kind of just looks like trash. Um, so I'm we're going to de decorate our box with all the stuff that we got out and, and then I'll tell you at the end what we're going to put inside it, okay? So if you want to pause the video right now so you can get all of your supplies and then start it up again, I'll be ready for you. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going. So I don't want my waiting box to look like crackers. So I am going to take a white piece of paper and I think I'm going to use my tape and then tape it and wrap it around kind of like a present. And I'll probably have to use a couple different pieces, so I'll do that real quick. Just like the way you guys use boxes and tape in curiosity class. One side. down so you can see what I'm doing real quick. You might need an extra pair of hands to do this. Alright. So I've got a little bit of extra tape up here so I'm going to fold it over. So, right now you can see I've got couple sides covered and I still need to cover this part and I think I'm going to use this blue paper. It's kind of pretty. So I'll tape that one on real quick. You could cut your tape and do colorful stripes if you want. You can use uh, like an old piece of artwork that you've made and you're tired of having it the way it is, you can always turn it into something new. See how my paper is a little bit longer here? All I have to do is cut that off. So I'm just going to cut. Alright, so now my paper is the same height as my box. Around. Do one last piece of tape. It's kind of tricky making sure you can see while I do this. But hopefully, these videos for you get a little bit better every time. All right, so I transformed my waiting box. Now I think the really fun part comes, now we just get to decorate it however you want. Okay, so didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me decorate my waiting box for the whole time, so I stopped it and I finished it. Um, so this is what I came up with. I decorated my box with things that make me happy. I really like the stars at night. I love rainbows, and I my daughters had these cute little stickers, so I put those on there. 
and then use the word joy. So when you finish decorating your box, we're going to add one thing in here together and then for the rest of the time that we're all stuck at home, I want you to keep adding things to your box. Okay? Since this is called your waiting box, the idea is that every time you think of something that you really, really wish you could do again, but you can't because you're trapped at home, you have to stay away from people, you can't really go to the playground, um, you can't go to the movie theater or out to eat or anything like that. There's a lot of things that we can't do right now and it's hard to wait. So when you think of something that you really wish you could do, I want you to get a piece of paper. Mine's a little piece. It could even be smaller than this. And you can get a pen, a marker, a crayon, and you're gonna write down or draw a picture of that thing that you've been missing. So, one thing that I am having a really hard time waiting for and I'm really excited to do again sometime is take my daughters to the playground. So I'm going to draw a picture of one of those big curvy slides you know what I'm talking about? The really tall ones. There's the bolts on it. And there's a arch. And you have to climb all those stairs to get up to it. Um, and my picture is not going to be perfect. And yours doesn't have to be either. This is just to help you remember when we're finally allowed to do things again some of the things that you want to do. So I better make that go all the way around. All right. Draw the ground here. And just in case, I'm going to try to sound out the word playground. So I'm gonna, I know play is a sight word. So that is P-L-A-Y. And then if I'm sounding out the word ground, I would say g, 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 gr, gr, that's g, r, ow. Uh, a lot of you can hear different things when you hear that, but I know ow says o, u, ground, d. Ooh, I almost didn't fit. So when this quarantine is over and we're allowed to go places again, I want to go to the playground. So now that I have just drawn an easy, quick little picture and did my best to write it out, I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to put it in my waiting box. And every time I think of one of those things, I'm going to draw it on my paper, I'm going to put it in here, and when we're allowed to leave our houses again, I'm going to pickling out and I'll say, oh yeah, I really want to go to the playground. That will remind me I can do it again.